Hi Matt, this is Norman from Schaefer Chevrolet here with our 2000 Ford Windstar. We're going to take a walk around it. I'm going to point out what I can see, you know, a couple issues that I noticed. Uh, starting up front, of course there's a little bit of cosmetic. I wouldn't expect this, uh, this year a vehicle to be in perfect shape, uh, but you know, we do have some stone chips across the hood. A little bubbling going on there. Looks like some oxidization, oxidation around on the uh, tires there. A little bit of rust starting. Let's take a look inside the door jams and things like that. Looks pretty good down at the bottom of the door there. Now this is cool. You do have a power sliding door. Um, on this side, it's fully functional. On that side, I noticed that we had some issues. Uh, I do notice a couple issues with locks as well. Uh, I do see a little bit of rust, but uh, like I said, this side works pretty well. But now, for example, if I were to lock and unlock over here, all this this side works real well. It seemed like that side had a little issue, but uh, I just tried it. So let's go over and see if okay. So that seemed to work all right. Yep. So this is the side is where you really not doing anything. But uh, the interior seems to be in pretty good shape. Looks to be pretty free and clear of any rips, tears, burn holes, things of that nature. And uh, this side's, you see saw a little bit of oxidation, but uh, not anything too bad. So it looks, you know, it's, it looks like it's mostly cosmetic and a few things like the locks. But other than that, all around, I mean, the thing drove out pretty nice. Quite a bit of space in here. And then we could just simply but power everything, windows, mirrors, locks, including your power seat. Once you hop in, you'll see uh, exterior, interior light settings there. On uh, this would be, you can uh, tilt the wheel with that. Got your wipers behind there as well as your blinkers right there. Shifter. Now, do you see a light on? It's the ABS light for your brakes there. And then we'll see the info and setup button up here. So let's see. So not a whole lot of information there. But you, you have controls right up there for your sliding door. Uh, like I said, pressing that is not going to open up that door back there. It's going to pop it open, but it won't slide it open. A uh, little mirror here, which is really neat to have. Change holder. And then these will be just for like, this one's for your garage door opener, but you can put like sunglasses up there. You have a universal home remote for your garage door opener there. Your radio controls, CD player, tape deck, climate controls, dual climate. Got quite a bit of space in there. Cup, cup holders there. You not even notice it. It just pops right out. You can put like CDs in here too. You got your lighter there. Center console. Actually quite a bit of space in there. Oh, that's cool. Well, just lumbar. Now on the wheels, it looks like we do have our cruise controls. So some areas, yeah, might be a little bit more on the rough side, but it, but in other areas there, she, she good running, started up no problem, drove out all right, seems to be pretty peppy. It just needs a little TLC. Give me a call, 989-879-2211. Again, Norman from Schaefer Chevrolet, 989-879-2211. Thanks and have a wonderful day.